gone back to fast and car curious and this is a special one because check out the earpiece thing um car to car yep two cars going on the other one driven by my friend he's in a v6 f type f types again you say goodness me john it's all getting a bit boring now uh no it ain't because uh, i'm in the five liter r <laughs> And what a difference. So uh, this trip's a bit different. So I'm not gonna spend hours showing the interior of the F-Type. You've seen it before. This is purely a comparison of the two cars. Is it worth spending another 22 grand to have the F-Type R over and above the F-Type uh, 380 horsepower R Dynamic, the one that I drove a couple of weeks ago. So this is what this test is about. I'm gonna do some driving with you. We've got uh, some car to car video footage coming up. Um, which is, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's quite entertaining, what can I tell you? But even just going to a nice little village, you can hear this thing, right? So I've got it in dynamic. I'm doing 40 miles an hour, right? This is not hammering it, because I'm in a village. The noises are something else. I've been driving this car for two days and I and my friend have been switching between the V6 and the V8. And there's lots more to come <laughs> in terms of comparisons, but this just sounds ridiculous. Anyway, let's do some more driving shots and then we'll ultimately get to conclusion around, is it worth the extra cash? See you in a bit. So, the two Jags, V6 and V8. Can you tell the difference from the front? No, not can I. Um, apart from the R badge, of course. And these vents here. That's about it, front. Identical side. Love those big fat carbon wheels. Oh, carbon inserts. This is on the V6. I don't know whether I prefer these, actually. Answers on the postcard, but really, apart from the V8 having no chrome, kind of look very similar, you wouldn't really tell them apart. That is, until you get to the rear. So for those of you who are good at counting, it's the exhaust, right? Two on the V6, four on the V8. And between the six of them, you'd hear them ticking <laughs> and crackling as they cool down from a hard day's driving here in Wales. But that's the view of the F-Type, isn't it? That back end view, that must be the best looking rear of a car I've ever seen in my life. I think they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna bother with the interior bit because they're the same, you've seen it on my videos before. There we go, there's the V8. It's a corker. Right, back to some more driving. Here we go, a bit of launch control. When you're ready, Rob. <laughs> yes, that was quite good, wasn't it? That's quite noisy. everybody I love brick walls Jesus look at this So here we are in the tranquil 
Welsh countryside with the F-Type V6 and the F-Type V8. Well, at least it's supposed to be. Unless he's broken it. Ah, here we go. I know it's too windy, really, but wow, I hear that for miles. What a machine, what a machine. <laughs> I know it's not funny, really, very childish. So, so in front of us is the V6, 380 horsepower, and of course, we're having the 5 litre. Give us a rev, Rob. This is the V6. That sounds quite good, doesn't it? And from the V8. No matter how much horsepower you've got, sat in a traffic jam, watching workmen put cones on the road for some inexplicable reason, isn't the best possible video, is it? Let's be honest. Rob, can you arrange for those people to get out of the way, please? around here. And there you go, the Jaguar F-Type <laughs> at full tilt. Nice work Rob. with to Raider, I think it's pronounced, if you want to give it a go yourself, and it is the best driving road I've ever been on. Now 
I got quite wet. Which means it's a bit dangerous in a rear wheel drive 540 horsepower sports car. Now they did tell me this was a four wheel drive, there's no badging to prove that, and I'm not entirely sure it is, having uh, <coughs> lost the back end once or twice yesterday. Just so you can see it better, there you go. Now my argument for this car is, you get all this brilliant noise at low speeds. So they on the Porsche, you have to hammer it to get really good noise out of it. And believe me, it does sound very, very nice. speaking but would you be lovely twisty dry road I know it sounds like I'm doing 150 miles an hour but I'm not I'm doing 43 jump in the V6 suit and I'll film in there as well I'll try to give you a sense of difference but having driven this car for two days and switched between the two there's some key differences right so the noise of this car is phenomenal it, it blows the V6 off the planet in terms of noise and the V6 is brilliant as we've seen before um, this is altogether different this is those aren't four exhaust pipes at the back of this car, those are four machine guns. Uh, the noise is fantastic, but the V8 is heavier, much heavier at the front end, you can feel it. So if you want a car to throw around lots of corners, probably the V6. It's pointier, feels 
is better balanced. This is heavier, but we shed loads more power. So this is 542 horsepower, and the V6 that we've driven numerous times before is 380. Stacks more power, loads more torque, getting on for 600 newton meters of torque in this car, which is a lot. But it's not as nimble as the V6. still only up to 60 right so as you know I've reviewed Porsches before and I drove a Cayman S which was a brilliant sports car very very nimble perfect for lots of corners at high speed but that's all it did we had to hammer it to get noise out of it and noise is important to me this car as you can see you do not So that's it, just handed back the F-Type R, handing those keys back was painful. That is the best car I've ever driven. Um, I've driven lots of cars, r 8 Aston Martins, uh, Lamborghinis, all sorts of things. And the F-Type R is the best of the bunch. And I'll tell you why. I can summarise by the fact that last night I took the car, after getting back from my house, took the car to see a friend of mine. He's got 10 year old twins and I took them out at it upon that time of course only two seats for a blast around the country lanes near where they live and Finn in particular laughed his head off the whole time because of the noise and the acceleration I wasn't speeding but the acceleration's brutal as I showed you in the video and the noise the bangs the cracks the pops and I think that sums up the car for me which is a 10 year old laughing his head off when I was 10 my bedroom wall was festooned with pictures of Lamborghinis and Corvette Stingrays. I still don't know why, but yeah, things like mad, mad supercars. And that's what having something like an F-Type is all about, isn't it? Now, I didn't get the same sense when I drove uh, Caymans recently on a racetrack and Boxsters and an i11 GTS. 911 GTS was very good, mind you. Um, but I didn't get the same drama everywhere we went the last few days in the F types, people stopped and asked questions and looked at it. Even at petrol stations, the petrol uh, assistants, you know, the people behind the cash desk, smiled when we st started the cars up and sort of waved us off. Got the reaction all the time, everywhere we went. I made the point to my friend Rob a couple of times. It's like we're having some kind of sort of public entertainment show going on where we've got hold of these cars, but we're entertaining people around us because they love them so much. Not sure you always get that with a 911. And that's the difference, isn't it? Interesting. So V6 versus V8, that was the real question posed. Is it worth the extra 20K? Yes. There you go, conclusion done. <laughs> the V8's mental. It absolutely storms the V6. But they are different sorts of cars. The V6 is still a phenomenal sports car. And the V8 is a muscle car. That's the conclusion. V8, big, thumping, mega powerful muscle car straight line performance is phenomenal and destroys the v6 no problem absolutely batters probably most things on the road to be fair um, you get such a different sense of acceleration and power in the v8 definitely worth it if you've got the money but don't forget it's another 20k plus or 30k plus or more if you want the svr that's another story entirely um the V6 is a great sports car, brilliant sports car, very pointy, very nimble, handles very, very well. But yeah, the V8 is a muscle car, and that's the difference. So the difference in terms of usage, but also in terms of price. If you've got the money, the V8 for Defo, absolutely. So that's it for this video. Go for the V8 if you can. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, subscribe below if you can. Give me a thumbs up. Maybe some comments if you don't mind. That would be really, really useful for me. Uh, ready for my next video, which promises to be another different and interesting one. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again very soon. Thank you.